I hope you like stained glass windows and flying buttresses because this video is full of them. Technically, this is our second list of top cathedrals of Europe. But don't worry, they're all spectacular. Let's begin. Number 10. Sevilla Cathedral, officially known as the Cathedral of St. Mary of the Sea, stands as the largest Gothic cathedral and the third largest church in the world. It was constructed in the 15th century on the site of a former mosque as a demonstration of the city's power and wealth after the Reconquista. You could say it's a reverse Hagia Sophia. This World Heritage Site is not only monumental in scale, but also in artistic and historical value, containing the longest nave in Spain. The cathedral is renowned for housing the tomb of Christopher Columbus, marked by a grand monument that is a significant draw for visitors. Another notable feature is the Giralda, a minaret converted into a bell tower, which offers sweeping views of Sevilla and beyond and exemplifies the fusion of Gothic and Moorish architectural styles. The interior is vast and houses an immense and richly detailed altarpiece, considered one of the finest examples of Gothic wood carving in the world. Sevilla Cathedral's immense size and the wealth of its art make it not only a place of worship, but also a testament to the historical and cultural grandeur of Seville. Number nine. Notre Dame de Paris is an iconic example of French Gothic architecture, prominently located on the Ile de la Cité in central Paris. Its construction started in 1163 under Bishop Maurice de Sully and spanned over two centuries, culminating in a structure famed for its size, antiquity, and architectural detail. The cathedral is particularly renowned for its flying buttresses, one of the earliest uses of this structural feature, which allowed the walls to be built higher and the clear story windows to be made larger, filling the nave with natural light. Additionally, the facade features three wide portals, each adorned with a profusion of Gothic carvings and above, a row of gargoyles adds to its dramatic appearance. The interior of Notre Dame is vast, housing three spectacular rose windows that boast some of the most extensive and vivid medieval stained glass in the world. The largest of these, the South Rose window, is a particularly impressive feature, measuring about 12.9 meters in diameter. The cathedral's two towers were once accessible to the public, offering panoramic views over Paris and its spire, added in the 19th century by architect Eugène Viollet-le-Duc, became a beloved part of the Parisian skyline before it was destroyed by fire in 2019. Despite recent damages, Notre Dame remains a potent symbol of French heritage and Gothic architectural achievement. Number 8. Durham Cathedral, officially known as the Cathedral Church of Christ, Blessed Mary the Virgin and St. Cuthbert of Durham, stands as a landmark of Norman architecture. Its construction began in 1093 under the direction of Bishop William of St. Karalef and was largely completed within 40 years, a remarkable achievement for the period. The cathedral was built to house the relics of St. Cuthbert and to serve as a place of worship and spiritual refuge. Its robust, imposing structure features massive pillars and pointed arches typical of Norman architecture alongside ribbed vaults that are some of the earliest in Europe. One of the cathedral's most distinguishing features is its rib vaulted ceiling extending over the nave, which is one of the largest and most impressive examples of this architectural style. Durham Cathedral also boasts several large-scale windows added in later periods that illuminate its interior with natural light, highlighting the intricate stonework and the vibrant stained glass. The cathedral's distinct English style earned it designation 
as a World Heritage Site shared with the nearby Durham Castle. Number 7. Canterbury Cathedral, located in Canterbury, Kent, England, is one of the oldest and most famous Christian structures in England. It was originally founded in 597 AD by St. Augustine, sent by Pope Gregory the Great to evangelize the Anglo-Saxons. The present Gothic structure began to take shape in the 12th century, following a fire that damaged much of the earlier Romanesque building. As the Cathedral of the Archbishop of Canterbury, the leader of the Church of England, and the global Anglican Communion, it holds a central place in English religious history. The architecture of Canterbury Cathedral is renowned for its stunning Gothic elements, including the high altar from the early 13th century, the beautiful and intricate stained glass windows that depict miracles and stories from the life of Thomas Becket and the Bell Harry Tower with its perpendicular Gothic style completed in the early 16th century. The cathedral also contains the shrine of St. Thomas Becket, the archbishop who was murdered in the cathedral in 1170 and subsequently became a martyr and saint, attracting thousands of pilgrims during the Middle Ages. Today, Canterbury Cathedral not only remains a functional house of worship, but also a historical monument, reflecting the rich heritage of medieval religious architecture in England. Number 6. St. Vitus Cathedral, located within the Prague Castle complex in the Czech Republic, is an exquisite example of Gothic architecture and took nearly six centuries to complete, with construction only finalizing in the 20th century. It is the largest and most important church in the country, serving as the seat of the Archbishop of Prague. Distinguished by its intricate spires and stunning stained glass, St. Vitus Cathedral also houses the tombs of numerous Bohemian kings and Roman emperors. One of its most celebrated features is the St. Wenceslas Chapel, a jewel-like space containing the relics of the saint and adorned with frescoes and semi-precious stones. The cathedral's windows, especially those designed by Art Nouveau artist Alphonse Mucha, add a layer of modern artistic expression to the otherwise predominantly Gothic structure. The cathedral's grandeur and historical depth make it not just a place of worship, but a symbol of national identity and pride. Weaving together centuries of Bohemian history and artistic achievement. Number 5. Toledo Cathedral, officially known as the Primate Cathedral of St. Mary of Toledo, is a magnificent example of Spanish Gothic architecture. Construction began in 1226 under the direction of Archbishop Jimenez de Rada and was completed in 1493, spanning the reigns of several Spanish kings. The cathedral serves as the heart of the Archdiocese of Toledo and is renowned for its size, historical significance, and artistic beauty. The cathedral's interior is a treasure trove of art, with one of its most notable features being the elaborate high altar, a masterpiece of Gothic sculpture. The sacristy contains an impressive collection of paintings by El Greco, Velázquez, and Goya, among others. Another significant aspect of Toledo Cathedral is its stunning stained glass windows, some of which date back to the 14th century, casting colorful light into the vast, ornate interior. The cathedral also houses the Transparent, a Baroque altarpiece that is so finely crafted that light passes through it, illuminating its intricate sculptures in a dramatic display. Hello friends, I would like to show you something I think you may like. Obsidian Apparel, a unique clothing brand with medieval and historical themes blending old and new. We have a selection of luxury bathrobes displaying beautiful historical artwork as well as an upcoming collection of medieval themed clothing. Take a look if you're interested, the link is below. Now back to the video. Number 4. 
Florence Cathedral, officially known as the Cattedrale di Santa Maria del Fiore, is a hallmark of Renaissance architecture situated in the heart of Florence, Italy. Its most striking feature is the massive dome engineered by Filippo Brunelleschi, which is not only the largest brick dome ever constructed, but also a pioneering structure that revolutionized building techniques of the time. The cathedral began construction at the end of the 13th century, and its exterior is clad in a distinctive pattern of red, white, and green marble panels that stand out boldly against the cityscape. The cathedral complex includes the baptistery and the bell tower, which are each marvels in their own right, characterized by similar marble facades. The interior contains ribbed vaulting and enormous circular stained glass windows, the largest in Italy. The other 44 stained glass windows, mostly designed by various artists of the 14th and 15th centuries, flood the interior with colorful light. This cathedral does not just dominate Florence's skyline, it also encapsulates the city's historical and artistic spirit. Number three, Rouen Cathedral, formerly known as Cathedral Notre Dame de Rouen, is a prime example of French Gothic architecture located in Rouen, Normandy. Its foundations date back to the fourth century, but the structure as it stands today was primarily built between the 12th and 16th centuries. This cathedral has undergone numerous modifications over the centuries, each adding layers of architectural history that showcase the evolution of Gothic style from early to flamboyant phases. Rouen Cathedral is notable for several key features. It possesses the tallest church spire in France, which reaches a height of 151 meters. The facade of the cathedral is adorned with a dazzling array of sculptures, including a representation of the Last Judgment over the main portal, which is a stunning example of Gothic art. Additionally, the cathedral holds a significant place in art history, having been the subject of a series of paintings by Claude Monet, who captured its facade under varying light conditions. Inside, the cathedral houses the tomb of Richard the Lionheart, which famously contains only his heart, his body being buried at the foot of his father in Fontevraud Abbey. Number two, the Church of the Saviour on Blood, also known as the Church on Spilled Blood, is a stunning historical landmark located in St. Petersburg, Russia. This church was built on the site where Emperor Alexander II was fatally wounded in 1881, and it stands as a memorial to him. By far the most modern on this list, the construction spanned from 1883 to 1907, funded by the imperial family and private donors. The church is renowned for its traditional Russian architecture, a stark contrast to the predominantly Baroque and neoclassical buildings of St. Petersburg. Its exterior is decorated with colorful, intricate mosaics, making it one of the most distinctive buildings in the city. Unlike many other churches, the Church of the Savior on Blood has never been consecrated as a standard place of worship and has primarily served as a museum and memorial. The interior is equally impressive with over 7,500 square meters of mosaics, more than any other church in the world depicting biblical scenes and figures created by some of the most prominent Russian artists of the time. It is somewhat unusual for a church to be dedicated to a slain emperor in this way, bridging the gap between past tragedies and artistic triumphs. Number one. The Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela, located in Galicia, Spain, is an emblematic monument of Romanesque architecture and a famed pilgrimage destination on the Camino de Santiago. Construction of this majestic structure began in 1075 under the guidance of Bishop Diego Pelaez and was completed in the early 13th century. The cathedral is especially renowned 
for its expansive and ornately sculpted baroque facade, which contrasts with the largely Romanesque and Gothic interior. Notable features include the Portico della Gloria, an intricate Romanesque portico which is considered a masterpiece of medieval art, created by Master Matteo in 1188. Inside, the cathedral's layout is designed in a Latin cross form, with large aisles, a transept, and an ambulatory that surrounds the altar. The altar itself is a significant site, reputedly housing the relics of St. James, one of Jesus' twelve apostles. Pilgrims often visit the cathedral to pay homage at the crypt where the saint's remains are said to be interred. Additionally, the cathedral's botafumeiro, a giant incense burner that is occasionally swung during mass, is one of the largest in the world and provides a dramatic spectacle. Santiago de Compostela Cathedral not only serves as a spiritual beacon, but also as a testament to the enduring artistry and importance of pilgrimage in Christianity. Thanks for watching. As always, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one.